Hey guys, BAKD here. Today we're going to take a look at the integrated rig system. Now the system is slightly confusing, um, but once you kind of understand it, it gets a little bit easier. Um, they do have combat rig integration and engineering rig integration. And we're going to just look at the combat rig integration. I'm pretty sure you can loot these from data sites. Um, not the actual module itself, but the blueprint for the module. Now the ingredients to manufacture this are only from the new data sites. It's um, like those new power cores and stuff. But first off, let's look at the first one here. Now this is a reducing 2P combat integrated module. Combat is combat rigs. The integration efficiency is 60%. The integrated rigs are two, and the multiplier of the rigs needed are two. So you can integrate two different rigs into this module, but if I were to do two calefactions and two um, accelerators, that will combine into a a integrated rig that has both of them now it only gives 60% of the boost on each of them and these rigs are not covered by insurance and they never will be so this is a great money sink for the game especially with people adding tier 3 rigs the thing that sucks about this is rigs are already way overpriced in my opinion and they are just gonna go up from here with more getting destroyed um, but on the flip side um, we do have relic scanners which are now adding more rigs into the game and these are now destroying them at a higher rate um, typically I only get one good tier 3 rig out of a relic site and if somebody dies with one of these they lose four now going to the universal one this one gives a 70% efficiency, so 70% of the rig. You have to add, um, well, you have two different rigs and you have to add multipliers of four. So you have to add four of the same rig of each type, so eight total rigs to integrate um, to get a, a hybrid rig at 70% efficiency. Now, let's go to the um, P3. This one, you can integrate at 60%. You can get three different rigs and their multipliers of three. So a total of nine rigs to get a hybrid uh, three rigger. Now they just get better from there, but this is the 70%. You have to add six of each rig. And then this one is a quad four. So you can integrate four different rigs at 60% but you need four of each rig to do this. Now this is by far the best one and they are the most expensive, 1.2 bill. And these will start flooding the market eventually once more people get the relic scanners. Now let's take this into a normal scenario and try to explain what I just went over. Now let's go into our hangar. I bought lots of different rigs for this purpose. Um, so I have a three-way a two-way with 70% and a two-way with 60%. Now I would like to do um, the 70% but I would need four of each rig or um, I'm gonna be making a hybrid rig for my um, interceptor and I will need um, nine rigs three of each different kind. But let's just go into this one a integration efficiency of 60% two rigs and multiplier two let's hit our integration now this cool little menu pops up only display enough rigs so if you uncheck that it will give you like a little red box um, with saying you don't have enough rigs to integrate now you have to take into account this is a engineering integrated module but you cannot do a navigation and an engineering it is not possible once you click that it goes red you would need two 
engineering rigs like a CCC and a capacity multiplier but if you pop that on you have to put two tier 2 or two tier 3 CCC 2's now a regular CCC gets 15% but since this is 60% um, after integrated you only get 9% so 9% and you can't do two CCC's on both sides to make it even more overpowered it has to be two separate rigs now you guys can read through this and pause the video this explains it a little bit more about an integration efficiency yada 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 everything I tried to go over so pause the video and read through that if you need to now for our navigation rigs cannot fuse rigs a different kind so if I were to do a 20% auxiliary thruster I could do any of these a inertia modifier um, warp jammer strength um, a dynamic fuel valve but you see a typical velocity is 20%. I'm only getting 12 out of this. And a uh, dynamic fuel valve typically gets 40% and you only get 24% out of it. Once you're ready to fuse them, you hit start integration at the bottom right there. And you can fuse these rigs into a um, destroyed on death rig. Now, this can make for very cool rigs especially getting up into the four ways um, what I'm gonna be doing is a dynamic fuel valve 3 I kind of want um, the extra velocity but I don't think I'm gonna use tier 3 rigs but that's 12% and I think I get 10 or 8% with the tier 2's which might be more affordable and then you can also do um, an inertia modifier so this rig is going to give me 24% um, cap management, 12% velocity, and 12% inertia modifier. This is going to make a very good rig on my uh, interceptor for my series. Right now I only have a 15 or 20% inertia I think. So this one is going to give me cap management, uh, velocity, and all that in one Now one thing with warp core optimizers unless you're doing multiple integrated rigs if you see a tier one here at 60 percent only gives you 0.6 jamming strength which is not going to do anything now the tier two unless paired with honestly it wouldn't even be worth uh, doing the tier two either um, it's kind of a waste of space at a two jamming strength you're only getting 1.2 so if you did two integrated modules with this, you will have a two jammer strength, but a two jammer strength in today's world just isn't enough. Now the three jammer strength integrates into a two warp jamming strength. Um, but the rigs themselves are 200 mil a pop. So do you really want to integrate three uh, jamming strength two threes? for a two jammer strength on an integrated module. It might be paired good with three of those, but you'll only have a six jamming strength, but you will have all the extra benefits. Um, unfortunately, which I really wanted to do was a CCC, a flight velocity and inertia. I think that would have been the best cap management for my ship, but you can't integrate both of those. Now that is the same thing with your um, combat rigs if we go in here not in weapons in combat rigs weapon rigs you can only add these weapon rigs into your integrated module or you could go for defensive rigs you can't do a mix of both but this makes for a very cool rig you can do all three or all four um, as added shield which would be really cool but what is um, what is 60% uh, of 40 that's what 24 so you get 24% resistances across all four of those or you could do an EM at 24% a thermal at 24% 
and then you could do something crafty like if you're boosting your shield you could do a shield bonus which I think is 18% or something don't quote me on the math you could do um, capacitor management if you're having cap problems you could add a shield boost amount which is really cool so you have resistances and a little bit of shield boost or you could do activation time and shield boost amount um, with resistances or with shield you name it you can integrate anything you want um, that makes for really cool uh, damage rigs as well um, we you could do you know damage you could get some fall off depending it doesn't get much capacitor need uh, burst aerator now from somebody that integrated a bunch of tier 3 rigs I think accelerator and the collision I think that he got five to ten percent less DPS than he did just having the full 12.5 percent activation time and I'm not sure what his combination of rigs were so you have to be careful um, what you do integrate it has to be extremely worth it to do that in terms but if you have no damage rigs on your ship doing a hybrid burst collision and something else on there like a little bit of range or something um, is going to be an extremely powerful rig because it's going to give you a little bit of both worlds and it gives you the best bonus because you don't have multiple of these because you get penalties once you have more of those or more of these on there you get less penalties but having just one damage rig allows you to do multiple defensive rigs in terms I think that will be the best min-maxing for your ships, having a good amount of DPS with a single hybrid damage rig. Now, of course, don't quote me on that, but that's what I think is the best for uh, most builds. All right, on this screen, I was able to find this in the manufacturing menu. Um, it doesn't cost that much to manufacture this at all, 25K and one hour. This is just the... Um, the regular 60% 2p you see it takes integrated thermoplastic and power generators um, you can use decryptors now which reduce the time it takes to build things which is really cool um, they don't sell for too much on the market but the integrated thermoplastics are pretty expensive so are the power generators well, they're actually dropping quite a bit so making this module actually isn't that much you just have to get a hold of a blueprint in one of the uh, data sites and you can make it from there um, on the next screen I'm gonna show you uh, my buddy cannibal he was messing around with his integrated 4p um, integration module and he came up with some pretty cool um, rigs to say the least so I'm gonna screenshot those and just show you on the next screen all right so just looking through here um, something I noticed um, you can integrate cargo holds but the Higgs anchor here it says this module cannot be integrated um, for whatever reason I'm sure there is a way to like cheese the system and uh, get your inertia to like a 0.5 second warp on a big ship or something um, so you can't integrate Higgs anchors now let's go back to the market or the inventory here I'm gonna be doing the 60% um, three I'm gonna be doing um, we're gonna do the polycarbon twos auxiliary thruster twos and we are gonna do a dynamic fuel valve three. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little extra velocity, a little extra inertia, and then a capacitor just for uh, managing my capacitor. So let's go ahead and integrate these modules. This operation is irreversible, and the integrated rigs cannot be restored. Pen 
append insurance will not be able to restore integrated rigs after repackaging only the structure of integrated rigs will remain let's go ahead and do it there and there is my integrated rig module kind of looks like a chip or something and it does use um, the actual module itself so you cannot reuse it um, this is kind of like a one-time uh, no whammy thing so be careful this was 200 mil for the actual integration unit um, aside from that hopefully you guys enjoyed the long talk about these and hopefully you understand them better now and I will see you guys on the next video peace